It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to share something with you that has been highly requested this month and it's my dessert bowls. You guys have been seeing these bowls on my candy apples, my chocolate apples, my dessert boxes and over the years, I have been doing bowls with the tails and bowls without the tails. So these particular bowls have been highly requested. So I'm going to share with you how to make my dessert bowls without the tails. So let's get started. So first you're going to need some supplies. Of course, you're going to need some sharp scissors that's going to cut through the fabric and you're going to need some ribbons of your choice. Now the ribbons that I use are 100% polyester or satin and in the size of a 1.5 inch all right and these are the bowls that you guys see and i decided to do the yellow ones because they are so nice and vibrant especially for easter so but these are the bowls that i'm going to create for you guys and also show you how to add the twist ties to the back of them so that you can put them on your candy apples all right, so these are the twist ties. All the links to the supplies that I'm using in this video, I will leave in the description box below. And I'm not gonna speed up this video, so you're gonna see this um, in real time, as they say. So I measure out 30 inches of ribbon. It gave me a few inches um, to have to get my bows designed the way I want them. And what I do is roll out the ribbon to 30 inches and then I just cut. Now you also can use a ruler and measure out your ribbon that way as well. I just had these handy dandy uh, tape measure and I decided to use the tape measure. But you can measure out between 25 to 30 inches of ribbon. And if you don't have a tape measure and you have a ruler um, that goes up to 15 inches, you can just take that 15 inches and pull out some more ribbon and measure out another 15 inches as I'm going to demonstrate in this next clip so that you can see what I'm actually talking about. But anytime that you cut your first piece of ribbon, you can go ahead and take another piece and line it up and just cut out um, the other piece of ribbon when you're making multiple ribbons you can just measure it up that way and just keep cutting the ribbons that you need the amount of to create your bows All right, so once you have your ribbon cut to the desired um, inch that you want, you want to get started with making your bow. But as I mentioned, if you have a ruler and they only go up to like 15, 17 inches long, just measure out your first measurement and then pull out some more ribbon to the next 15 or 17 inches so that you can have a longer strip to equal the amount of 30 inches. All right, so let's get into making these bows. Now here is my hand. You're gonna take the ribbon and cross it over into the palm of your hand. You're gonna do your Star Trek fingers, as I call them, and taking your thumb and holding that strip. Taking the ribbon from the back and you're gonna bring it and go in the middle in between the Star Trek fingers. <laughs> I call them Star Trek fingers, y'all. All right. Now taking that and coming around, and now you're going to go back in between the Star Trek fingers and then come under, holding that bottom, and then you're going to go back over and in between. Now, this is where you got to pay attention, and then I'm gonna show you in a different angle, all right? So I'm holding my hand in a different angle so you can be able to see 
what I'm actually doing. So again, the first strip you're going to hold is not going to go anywhere and you're going to do the star track hands. That means two fingers on one side, two fingers separating and you're going to take that ribbon and go in between those fingers come around and go back in between and now come under the other two fingers and then go back in between and now you're gonna flip your hand now once your hand is flipped you're gonna take that ribbon and you're going to go under all this part of the ribbon and you're going to push it in between those fingers okay make sure it goes all the way through without the ribbon coming off of your hand so you got to hold it tight all right now flipping it that piece right there keep it there and it's going to gather up with the rest of the ribbon and pull the ribbon that you just pulled through and you're gonna go over it again twice and bringing it back through between the fingers now you're going to take that piece and put it up under this loop. Once you do that, hold that piece that you've been holding from the beginning and pull it tight. Pull it tight on both ends or just hold one piece and then pull the other piece and you have tightened your bow. And this is what your bow is going to look like. Now, these on the ends here, you can pinch it off. Pinch your sides just to take off the ribbon. All right. And then once you take it off your fingers, you just want to fluff, puff it out, or put your finger, put one index finger in there just to puff out your um, loops. And if the bow look like it's not centered you can move and adjust that middle piece all right so you want to move and adjust the middle piece before you cut off the tails now the tails you're going to take your scissors and cut them close as possible but not too close where it's going to unravel so just cut right at the bottom and make sure that you don't lose your your little loops and make sure you fluff them back up and then go ahead and proceed with cutting off the other tail. And that is your ribbon. Now, once you have done creating your bow, make sure you take your finger and go into those loops to make sure you fluff them out so they won't look flat and make sure your um, middle of the bow is positioned in the center. And then I'm gonna do this again to show you how to add in the twist tie. All right, we're back for round two. Remember the hand, remember the piece. Make sure you take your thumb and hold that piece the entire time you're creating your bow. Taking the other long piece, doing the Star Trek hands, go over and in between, under and in between, and then under and in between. Now this is actually the first loop, so you're going to Make sure that bottom piece is in position. Now you're going to flip your hands. This is the first loop. So you're gonna go in between those Star Trek hands and make sure the ribbon is all the way through to the other side. And then you're gonna flip. And you also wanna keep checking to make sure everything is in position, but make sure that that piece is all the way through. And now you're gonna bring that back over. And this is going to be the second loop. All right. 
And now you're going to bring it back through. And now you're going to take that piece and go under the loop. And now you're going to pull tight. Hold, take your thumb and hold the center of your bow and just begin to pull those tails tight. And there you have your bow. You've created your bow. Flip your hand just to make sure it is good. And then begin to pull your size to remove it from your fingers. Now flip the bow and there you created your bow. Start to open up the loops of your bow and straighten them out just to fluff them out so you can see your bow created nice nicely i love creating bows i've always have so i'm sure you're gonna have fun so be prepared to make plenty of bows all right so like i said you can leave the tails and design them how you want but we're doing the ones without the tail so taking your scissors and cutting them close enough where they're not going to be seen but don't cut them too close where it will unravel all right so all i'm doing is just fluffing out my um, loops here and now we're going to add in our twist ties. So taking the twist tie, you're going to feed it through the back of that loop, that centerpiece. And just like that, it's so simple. And that's how you apply the twist tie to your, to your ribbon, to your bow super easy super fun and these are how i make my bows so a lot of people think i buy them but no i create my own bows so now you can too so i hope you all have enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe <music>